What's going on you guys? Kid Behind the Camera here and today I wanted to tell you about a story that I read this morning and I really got taken aback. I'm talking about Georgia Representative Jack Kingston saying poor kids should work for their school lunch. So just cutting straight to the chase, Georgia Representative Jack Kingston just went on record last weekend saying that kids who cannot afford school lunch should either pay or sweep the school floors to pay for their lunch. Kingston then goes on to say that having the children work for their lunch instills a strong worth ethic into the children. First of all, there's no excuse for denying a child food. This reminds me of when Newt Gingrich said that we should fire unionized janitorial employees and replace them for children so they can work for their food. It's the same thing, only we're not firing the janitors. So what do you do if the child doesn't want to work to begin with? What if he says, no, I'm not going to sweep the floor? Does he not get to eat lunch that day? I get that you want to instill a work ethic into children. That's why they're going to school. Children are going to school so they can get a job, so they can work their way to college, and they're not going to be able to do that if they're missing math class so they can sweep the fucking cafeteria. You know, it really says a lot about the person when you're saying that simply because a child grows up poor and his parents don't have the money to give to him to pay for school lunch, that he can either work for it or he doesn't get it. And that's not fair. These children are going to school to try to make something of their lives. A lot of them are going to drop out. <laughs> Do you really want that number to increase because you're not feeding them? Do you want more kids to drop out of school? Is that, are you trying to build a weak nation? Are you trying to make it so kids drop out of school so nobody can argue against the government? You know, kids already have it hard enough. They've got school. They've got to continue with these grades. They've got to work hard. They've got to study. They've got to come home and they've got to clean the house. They've got to listen to their parents parents and now they gotta worry about how bad do they sweep the floor in school today because they may not be able to eat lunch tomorrow. To me this entire conversation is sick, it's disgusting, it shouldn't be something that we should be discussing as a possibility in America. I thought we were the land of the free. Now kids can't even eat lunch in the school that you're forcing them to go to? I posted this on Facebook and I said is this true? Is this really happening? And I had a couple of people say, no, it's not true. Well, there's a video clip to back it up, so let's check that out. Why don't you, you know, have the kids pay a dime, pay a nickel, to instill in them that there is, in fact, no such thing as a free lunch. Or maybe sweep the floor in the cafeteria. And yes, I understand that would be an administrative problem, and I understand that it would probably lose you money, but think what we would gain as a society in getting people, um, getting, getting myth out of their head that there is such a thing as a free lunch. See, he's presenting it a certain way. He's saying, oh, they should pay a nickel or a dime. Well, a nickel or a dime isn't going to do anything, so really that's not what you're after. What you're really after is having kids pay for their school lunch entirely because there's no such thing as free lunch. God forbid that a child feel like the school is actually doing something for them by giving them something to eat to begin with. So, when reached out for a comment, a representative of Kingston had this to say. It's sad that trying to have a productive conversation about instilling a strong worth ethic into the next generation of Americans so quickly devolves into the usual name-calling partition hysteria. Well, first of all, I didn't call him a name, you fuck. Second, this is about far more than name-calling hysteria than it is about you having respect for people as human beings. These are children. They're trying to go to school. They're trying to learn. They're trying to make something of their lives. And you're trying to make them do even more by making them dance for their dollar, by making them sweep the floor so they can eat. And now, if you go to Jack Kingston's official website, he has this big campaign going on, Stand with Jack Against Liberal Attacks. You see, what Jack's trying to do is he's trying to spin this little thing he said about children having to work for their food into attacks by the liberal media. As if this whole thing that he said is so minute that it has to be the liberal media attacking him to even insinuate that what he's saying is a problem. Jack, all I'm going to say in closing to this whole situation is what I think you're doing is wrong. I think kids have enough to do with schoolwork and home life and homework and, you know, chores. And they shouldn't have to worry about sweeping the school cafeteria so they can pay for the lunch that you're so generously providing for them. 
So hey, if you want to sign Jack's petition to stand against the liberal attacks, go check it out. It's on his official Facebook page. You can find it there. I'm not going to promote the link because I'm not signing it. I don't think anybody should sign it because it's bullshit. So I'm moving on from you, Jack. But please, for God's sakes, think about what you're saying. Asking children to work for their school lunch is wrong, pathetic, and just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the word to say about it. It's stupid. The second thing that everybody's been asking me about is what do I think about Phil Robertson being fired from Duck Dynasty? A lot of people are saying that his civil rights have been violated, that he's lost his ability to have free speech, that he got fired for no reason, and I just want to offer an alternative opinion to that. Now, I do believe that he has the right to his own opinion. Phil can think that it's gross for a man to have sex with another man. He's entitled to that belief. It's not something that I believe, it's not something that a lot of people believe, but it is something that other people believe. Lots of people think that it's wrong, and that's okay. You're allowed to believe whatever you want to believe. It's your belief. If he wants to say that he hates gay people and they should never get married and they're gross and they're going to burn in hell, he's allowed to say that. However, he should be ready to face the consequences of what happens when you say something like that in the public eye. For instance, it's not so much as a breach of his human rights by getting his freedom of speech taken away when he's probably violating a contract with A&E to begin with. You can bet your ass that somewhere in that contract it says something about conducting himself a certain way in public that he has to carry himself because he's representing a television show on their network. Now, I didn't see any of the reports saying, oh, Phil Robertson said this, Phil Robertson said that. Everything that said it ties in the television show Duck Dynasty, which that brings a negative mark on the show itself. So according to that contract, he has a certain way that he has to act while he's in public, which means you probably shouldn't insult an entire demographic of people who are part of the audience that is signing your paycheck to begin with. Did he have the right to say what he wanted to? Of course he did. This is America. You can say whatever you want. However, you can also be fired for saying that stuff. I present a challenge to all of you. Tonight, go to work, go to your boss, and call him a fucking asshole. And let's see how long you're still employed. It's just like Paula Deen. Sometimes you should just be careful with what you say. Those are just my opinions on Jack Kingston and Phil Robertson. Those are my opinions. You can feel however you want. You can believe that kids should sweep the floors and you can believe that gay people can't get married. I believe otherwise. I think that some of that shit is stupid. So like, subscribe, favorite, and thank you guys for watching. It is sad. It is sad that trying to have a productive conversation about instilling... It is, it's sad that, it, it's sad that trying to have a productive conversation about instilling a strong worth ethic, it's sad that having a, <laughs> the second thing that everybody's been asking me about, what do I think about, what's his name?